Hi guys, welcome back to Wayward Sun Custom. Today we have the January 2023 edition of Tech Pack. That's right, we have the very first one of the year. And uh, it's my understanding that there's two versions of this because they sold so many that uh, they ran out and they had to scramble and make a version two. So... Uh, apparently I'm not good enough. I don't rate version one. I got version two and uh, this sticker here will show you that um, this is the Tac Pack Plus, um, not the standard. And uh, yeah, they, uh, I don't know, they're kind of ruining the plus for me um, aside from anything else because they just have been telling people, hey, this is what the plus item is going to be. I, and I, I get it. They're trying to get people interested in getting people to buy them, but it ruins it. I mean, that, that's part of the allure of these boxes is that you don't know what you're getting until you get it. You just have a sort of vague idea. But this time, I know that the um, at least one plus item, if there's more than one, is a primary arms optic, which, don't get me wrong, is a good selling point. But anyway, let's dive into this thing and... Uh, see what we got here I'm uh, I don't know with that pack sometimes I get overly optimistic like right now I like primary arms I like their optics and so I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of a little excited but I also know that in the past I've gotten excited and tack packs let me down and I've also come into it thinking I was just gonna get uh, a bunch of crap and they pleasantly surprised me so who knows but I did remember to open it from the bottom uh, side this time because that's almost always where the card is for some reason. And there you go. Um, first things first, it seems like they, well, it looks like they still are not, they're still doing the uh, whole, we'll tell you a price for the plus items, but not anything else kind of uh, system. So we're just going to start at the top and work our way down like always. First off, we have Cross Machine Tool Comp, USA made. The Cross Machine Tool CRC Mini 556 Combat Recoil Compensator is badass. Two forward angled brake ports on this Mini Comp provide greatly reduced muzzle rise and mitigate felt recoil. The function of this muzzle device is equaled by the exceptional visible manufacturing quality and appearance you expect from Cross Machine Tool products made in the USA. All right. So, let's see what we can find here. Ah, all right. So, there she is in her package. Let's see what we're working with here. All right. And, you know, I like Cross Machine Tool, and that is a very, very out of focus really there you go anyway it's a, uh, it's a pretty nice little muzzle break there I like it and it comes with a washer so not bad not bad at all all right so that's the combat re combat recoil compensator from cross machine tool uh, next we have foam action sports shooting rest do I really need to read the entire thing on that because yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory um, I'm sure most of you are probably at least somewhat familiar and uh, yeah it's just basically a foam X you can you know if you want a little more height you put it there if you want less height you put it there put your gun on there and you know it's a shooting rest so I don't know I'm not sure how much these are going for uh, these days but eh, it's useful I'm not overly excited about it, but it's useful. So, I mean, if you need one, you need one. And then next we have the BAD Clear Dust Cover, USA made. And of course, that you know BAD is Battle Arms Development, which they've been getting a lot of their stuff in their boxes here lately. It says, we love this unique idea that Battle Arms cooked up for us. Clear ejection port cover that is strong, lightweight, and provides visual feedback in the closed position. Features a UV stabilized polycarbonate material and abrasive slash scratch resistant coating. Goes well with the 10 BCG we sent in the Christmas box. All right. And 
Okay, so overall, I am a fan of Battle Arms development. Um, they make some really nice Glock barrels. They make some really nice AR um, related items and everything. This, I hate. Um, there you go. It's a, it's an ejection port cover that is see-through. Somebody out there I know is like, yes, they finally did it. I love it. I'm not that guy. I hate this. It's about the only product I can say that um, it's about the only product I can say from that from Battle Arms Development that I absolutely just don't like. So anyway, moving on. Birchwood KC cloth, USA made, leaves a lustrous, lasting, protective film on all metal, wood, and plastic surfaces. The double-napped 100% cotton flannel cloth is impregnated with pure silicone and then packaged in a convenient reclosable uh, poly bag used on firearms, sporting equipment, and precision instruments to safely remove dust and corrosive fingerprints. All right, so... Ah, there we go. All right. Now, I will say... We, uh, not, not necessarily all Birchwood Casey, but we get a lot of these, like, cleaning... Uh, cloths and cleaning kits and stuff and yeah I know there's people out there that are like man I can't believe they gave us another one here's the thing it's um, I believe in stocking up on this, this kind of stuff because you never know when you're not going to be able to get it um, something like this you can put in a number of different range bags go bags whatever um, you can put them in just about any place and you have something to use no matter where you're at and what you're doing um, Cleaning supplies for guns. You know, rust is like cancer for guns. So you can't um, you can't go forever without cleaning them. You don't necessarily have to clean and lube them quite as often as some people do, but the inevitability, the inevitable um, reality is sooner or later you have to. And so it's always nice to have uh, gun lube, gun solvents. Um, patches, all that kind of stuff. I personally, I use boar snakes a lot, but um, you know, it's always good to have this kind of stuff around. Just like I like to have uh, different desiccants and stuff. And yeah. Uh, anyway, it's not overly sexy, but it is useful. So I'm not going to bag on them too much for that. All right. Next we have again Birchwood Casey. This time it's a shoot and see shoot and see target. Also USA made. And, I mean, I don't really think I need to read all that. Um, you know, you shoot them, and then you, as it shows you, you see it. So, you see where your impact is. Um, can be really useful when you're trying to sight in a gun and stuff. Again, useful, but, eh, not that exciting. And, then there's one thing left in the standard box, which is... Oh, yay. An Optimus Prime sticker. Who knew Optimus was an FDE guy? Ho, ho, ho. All right, so there you go. Um, some people are going to blast me for this, but I'm not a real huge Transformers fan. I mean, they're okay. Um, the movies are all right and everything. They got a little bit of action, but I'm not overly excited about this. My wife or kids might be, but... I'm not. Um, and, you know, they probably assign that a value of like eight bucks anyway. Um, so, anyway, uh, the standard box, I, I really dig the cross machine tool compensator. That's, uh, that's a nice piece of uh, equipment. Uh, I like their stuff. They're good quality USA made stuff. So, don't have a problem there. The rest of this stuff, with the exception of one thing, but the foam action sports shooting rest. The Birchwood Casey cloth and the target, the Birchwood Casey shoot and see target, those all have a good use. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say that I'm overly excited or just wowed by their choice to include those. But what I will say is they're all good stuff, so I'm not going to complain about that. Out of the standard box, I'm, I am going to say um, I like Battle Arms development. I like BAD overall but i hate this particular thing i would not have paid money for this i really don't see where i need that particular um thing i don't i don't see where i need a see-through ejection port cover um 
honestly, for most applications, I and some people think this is heresy, but I don't I don't absolutely see the need for an ejection port cover under a lot of uses anyway. Um, some exceptions, of course, but that's just my opinion. And the uh, Optimus Prime sticker, I could I I really don't care about. They could have left it. They could have kept it. Um, but anyway. So we're going to move on to the plus items. It looks like there's two this month. The first one is the Primary Arms MD-RG2, and it is valued at $90. The micro dot features a removable included 1913 Picatinny base. With the base removed, the scope body is compatible with any industry standard micro mount system, i.e. the other plus item in this month's box. So I guess they ruined that for us. The micro dot features 1,000 hours of battery life from the included CR2032 battery at a medium setting and an ultra sharp two minute of angle dot. Uh, not bad. The brightness knob on the right side adjusts 12 brightness settings from night vision compatible to daylight bright. This tough optic is waterproof with a one year warranty, rubber bikini lens cover included. All right, as I stated at the beginning, um, they already told us that this was going to be a um, plus item. I thought there was only one plus item. Apparently there's two. And I'm going to just go on a limb and say the other one's a mount. But uh, anyway, this is the box here. Um, get your booklet. And a little note from Primary Arms. Do not eat because, you know, you want to make sure that the, your red dot is fresh. And then... Little microfiber lens cloth. And what we got here? Oh, a little package of thread locker, a la Loctite, but a different brand. And neatly packaged in here. What's this? All right. So, comes with included Allen wrench. And after all that, I can finally get to the red dot. So, there you go. Um, and this is nice and micro. Yep. Um, I have not used this particular model of uh, primary arms optic, but I am familiar with other uh, models and you know, overall, I really dig them. I think they're a good bang for the buck for the most part. At least all the models that I have uh, used have been. And uh, ninety bucks is not a bad price for a primary arms optic. I don't know if that's the going if that's the actual going price that you can get this from primary arms or another retailer uh, for this particular model or not. But uh, overall, it's not a bad price for a primary arms uh, site. So, I dig that. That actually makes the entire box for me. Um, everything else I could... Uh, everything else is okay. Uh, the compensator, I really like the other stuff. It's okay. But uh, I really like the red dot. And this would be the other plus item. Look, it's huge. Um, Aeronox riser compatible with the MDRG. It says this is $99.99. So, 100 bucks they, they're saying this is. I just lost a little screw for it, but I'm not going to mess with that. So, there you go. As you can see, put it on your rail there. It uh, feels nice and beefy. Um, it, I mean, it feels like it's quality made. And, you know, USA made, so you can't really beat that. So, there you have it. That is your Tac Pack Plus for uh, version 2, I think, for um, January of 2023. And we do have some February hints here. They say standard box total, value $95. Wasn't the standard box normally like over 100 bucks for the value? I could be wrong. I may be splitting hairs. Um, it says mix of parts, EDC, and more from sweet brands like Gerber and Amend 2 Plus. Oh, wait a minute. They didn't put a, a period there. 
Um, so anyway, it's a standard box, total value, $95. Mix of parts, EDC, and more from sweet brands like Gerber and Amen 2. The plus box total value is $235. All the standard items plus a killer and innovative USA-made piece worth $142 that will have folks turning their heads to check out your kit. Okay. That, that hint actually has my attention because it's obviously something from uh, Killer Innovations. And let me tell you, I love... I love a lot of Killer Innovations stuff. I haven't I haven't dealt with all of it. Um, now, generally, Tac Pack is an AR-related box, um, but when I think of Killer Innovations, I think of their Glock slides, their Sig slides, and I think of their Glock and Sig barrels, and you know, basically their pistol accessories. And if that is what we have coming, is a say $142 barrel from them for a Glock. I would love that. But this is Tac Pack and Tac Pack doesn't like to make John happy. They don't like to, they don't like it whenever Wayward Son Custom says, "Hey, it was all good this time." So, more than likely, it will be something different. But that would be my guess based off of that hint is that we're getting a custom, uh, Killer Innovations uh, Glock barrel. But I guess we'll wait and see. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of this box, what you think of the items in this box, um, if you've had any experience with them or not, and uh, whether they were good or bad. Um, like I said, overall, I the box for me was a winner overall. Um, I don't like the ejection port cover. Somebody else might, but I don't like that. The sticker I don't like. The uh, cleaning cloth, the target, and the um, foam bench rest, the little riser. Um, uh, they're okay. I'm, I'm fine with those. The riser and especially the red dot really makes it for me. And I also like the, uh, I also like the compensator. So uh, I think that's everything we got. And yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Um, you can also hit me up at wayward sun custom gun at gmail.com. Shoot me an email there. And, uh, by all means, check out the website. I guarantee you that um, there will be some some new types of content coming there. Um, I'm milling around, you know, mulling, not milling, mulling around a lot of stuff in my head. Things like um, uh, maybe a vlog. Um, I'm going I'm going to shot show this year, so maybe there'll be some shot show um, updates or little uh, snippets from there. Um, I don't know. I have a bunch of stuff going on in my head that. I'm considering doing over there, but here very shortly, um, I'm not going to put a time frame on it, but here very shortly we'll start unrolling, uh, unveiling, and um, you know, showing off some new features and stuff on the website. Um, not just yet, but in the meantime, you can still get Dragon Packs merch. You can still, um, there's all kinds of links over there for some really cool stuff, especially the stuff that goes bang, bang that I can't show you here um, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys again for uh, supporting me. Um, in the new year, I'm going to try my best to give you even better and more content than I have in the past. And um, uh, I haven't really lost focus, but I want to really laser focus um, on making this channel the best it possibly can be. So I, I, there's a lot of great channels out there for me to compete for your viewership with. And I know that. And uh, anyway, uh, thanks for... Uh, join me on the journey so far and thank you in advance for the year to come and until next time watch your six and carry on wayward son out